Crouch down, Quack. I was told not to crouch down for, uh, for, for portraits, no? No, you want to crouch down because if you're up looking down, you're making her look small. Look at oh, me. don't do that. Look at me. Why don't you guys shot her without her hat on? Because or else yeah. you can't see her eyes. Oh, that's a bad hair day. Oh. <laughs> Beautiful blonde hair. Looks real to me. Old me. Why don't you guys show her without the bag? Why don't you take off your bag? Yeah, get cozy. Yeah. Take off your jacket too. You're, you're, you're in your own house. Come on. Get nice and cozy. Yeah. Much more relaxed now. Don't look at him. Don't look at the iPad. Look at him. Yeah, look at me. Why don't you show her taking a puff? Oh, that's good, yeah. Work it, work it, work it. Get closer, get closer. I'm too close. Oh, you're too close. Well, that's good, that's good. Oh, Quag, you missed it, man. Yeah, I know. I... Killing me, Smalls. I'm sure this happens to you a lot. Right, no, never. <laughs> really? No, no way. No, not in province town. In New York, it used to happen to me a lot. In San uh -huh. Francisco, it used to happen to me a lot, but not in Providence. You need to know cooler people and in Providence. I was a lot then. younger then. You know, <laughs> these guys that were like model guys, you know. Uh -huh. would, and they would send me these, like, you know, oh. back then it, it wasn't, um, wasn't, you know, digital. Yeah. So they'd send me these, like, slide things. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're model guys, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was a lot younger then. I'm, I'm almost 60 now. Wait, what? Really? Dude, you are the hottest 60 year old I've ever seen. I'm almost there. You're 60? Seriously? No, not quite. I'm 57 and a half. Ooh, no freaking way. Mm -hmm. How do you how do you stay so young looking? Ride horses. <laughs> so the, the secret is paint, smoke cigarettes, and ride horses. Yes. <laughs> and drink water down white wine. Water down white wine, definitely. Okay. Uh just move a little bit this way. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but exactly. Don't uh, don't look. Oh, look. You look too happy. <laughs> yeah. You want a more somber look. Yeah, we want the cynical artist look. Cynical artist look. Like, why am I paying taxes? <laughs> why am I paying taxes? Think, just think about the tourists that come to um, yeah. Provincetown. Think about the Asian tourists. They don't Are, have many Asian tourists. Why? why <laughs> yeah, actually, that is true. I haven't actually seen a lot of Asian yeah. tourists. <laughs> Why is that? Well, you have you have Quack right here. I mean, his look at him. Yeah, clearly an Asian tourist. But then he's got those pretty cool glasses, so he's not as touristy. Take more verticals, man. Yeah, I know. Crouch. Don't forget to crouch in. Or my crotch? No, no. <laughs> Seriously, you're you're 57. Yeah. I could have. I I thought you were at least maybe mid 30s, if that. What? Mid late 30s. I would have said 40. Oh my God. 40 ish. He's a doctor, so he knows. Yeah. <laughs> you must be part Asian. No, I'm um, German and Portuguese. Hmm. A little Irish. You must eat really good food. I did. I eat salads every day. Yeah, I'm very, I'm very into health stuff. I eat, it shows. I eat reishi mushrooms and garlic. And, you know. hmm. I think I took. A hundred pictures. Oh. There must be one. <laughs> must be one decent shot. There must be one decent shot. Why don't you show her some of the shots? No, ask, okay. Why don't you ask her which one she likes? No, it's alright. You just send me what you think. Okay. I'll edit them and I'll send yeah. them. Yeah. Cool. So. Artist house in Provincetown. <laughs> so beautiful. No, I'm just an Asian tourist. How many hits do you have? Like five. Um, I have 20,000. All right, guys, we're gonna check out the sweet view of the pier.
Come to Provincetown, P-Town, if you have the chance. Yep, recording on the iPad, like an Asian. So Heather, I have a question. Why do you paint? Oh, please. Really? It's a good question. No one ever asks. They say how you paint, when do you paint, but no one asks why do you paint. Why do I paint? God, I've been in my blood ever since I was born. Your parents paint? Mm -mm. My mom wrote. And well, you know, my my brother's a physicist. My mm -hmm. father was a full, uh, you know, went to Harvard Law School. Whoa. Yeah. No, my whole family is totally like. What kind of law uh, school? Where? I mean, not law school, um, business school. Okay. And then my brother went to Harvard Law School. Yeah. And then my other brother went to. U of R and he's a physics major and he's now got a PhD in physics and he's crazy. <sighs> anyway, no, we're all very different. But for, for you painting is is it a form of um, like to it's feel a, fully it no, it's um I've always been visually inclined. Yes. Ever since I was a little kid, so I just always did that. And I feel like it's my way of being in, in communion with nature. Mm. Um, Do you feel like being in Provincetown really helps that? Being in Provincetown was the best thing I did at this time in my life. You know, I was, spent most of my life in San Francisco. And oh, really? New York. What brought you back? Um, uh, basically... I left San Francisco because the dot comers took over all the. Oh yeah, those yeah. Google nerds and yeah, driving up Asian property by yeah. Asian guys. And I couldn't afford it. And <laughs> yeah. They just pushed us all out, and then yeah. I went to New York, and the same thing happened. Damn I went sure. to Williamsburg, and I had to go out to Bushwick. Yeah, and yeah. It was really scary, where I was afraid to come home at night. Oh my god, yeah. And then I was just like, you know, I had this little fucking crazy house on the beach, and. Um, there happened to be a, um, a program at the time where they were trying to help people come back to Provincetown and mm. live around. Yeah. So, um, they did a grant because I, this wasn't insulated. Oh, so it I must be damn cold during the winter time. It's, it's good now. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean before the insulation. Oh, forget it. You couldn't, I couldn't live there. Wow. But, um, so I called the guy up and I, it was August and I was about to go back to New York and I said, I heard about this program. Oh, you're exactly what we want. Yeah. Blah, blah. He said, but do you live here around? I said, no, I live here six months in New York six months. He said, yeah. oh, no, that won't work. You have uh, to live here year round. Wow. I said, I said, oh, all right. Well, all right. Goodbye. I can't. Yeah. He said, well, why don't you? Mm -hmm. I said, because it's not insulated and there's no heat. Yeah. Yeah. You know? And he said, well, we could make part of your grant that. No way. And I said, really? That's amazing. So I called my job. I was doing framing for Chelsea neighborhood. Yes. I was uh -huh. called them up and I just said, you know what? I'm not coming back. <laughs> it was the best thing I ever did. Why do you think makes... Um you know, I would think that San Francisco and New York would be much more, like, like, do you feel that being here brings out a different type of creativity that you didn't get in New York or San Francisco? Uh, I got a lot of creativity for being in both places, mm. um, but I'm back to my roots now, and 
as you can see from my paintings now, they're mm -hmm. small because I have a small space, but I've always wanted to paint the sea. The sea is really Paint the sea? Yeah. What about the sea? The sea is really what I love. And, um, and I was scared of painting it because it was always moving and I just felt like I couldn't quite grasp it. Yeah. So, um, so now I'm back painting the sea. And, uh, and I bought a horse. And What's your horse's name? Oh, Charlie. And I'm going to write a children's story, two children's stories about him. Charlie comes to Cape Cod. He's the best. Where's he from? He's from Montana. Oh, yeah, you're That's right. him, right there. Where's, where's Charlie? Right there. Look at him. He's the best horse in the world. Let me let me get a close-up on Charlie. He's the best horse. Oh, my God, he's the best horse. Oh, he was a little skittish when I first got him, yeah. but I've been working with him, and he is a love. So I'm writing a children's story about him. So, have you ever done uh, photography? My own photography. I, you know, I'm pretty good at photography, but I've never done it professionally. How do you think painting uh, differs or is similar to photography? Uh, I think photography is more that you you see the image and you click and you make those decisions. Painting is it takes it a step further and then you have to you have to you retranslate it. Yeah. You know. So it goes, it goes a step further. Not to say that, that going that step further has, you know, if you can get it, you can get it. You know, that's like, you know, to me it's about getting it. Yeah. You know, but it definitely has a an added burden. Painting has an added burden to it, you know. Often I will take photographs um, just, you know, to inform my work, but... Most of the time I've done plain air or just out of my head. Yeah, because I mean, as a photographer, I can never paint because I don't have anything in my head. I just go out and I see something that inspires me and then I'll capture it rather than right. grabbing something from a figment of my imagination. Right, right. Like where do you even, where do these scenes in your head come yeah, from? Yeah, no, it, you know, there's all different ways even of painting, you know. Um. Where's this picture from? You haven't changed much. Oh, that's that it. was me on the hand. Ooh. Oh, that was probably ten years ago. Well, wow. you don't you don't look much different. Yeah, you look exactly the same. <laughs> you, still, you still have the same glasses. Oh yeah. Right. Well, that's because my other glasses, my more modern glasses, broke. Modern, modern. So I had to bring these back. I had these. There, it's funny because they're back in vogue now. You know, I have some nicer glasses, but they broke, and I, you know. They look good on you. <laughs> All right, you want to call it a night, gents? Yeah, I think so. All right. Do you have a photo of me and uh, not a photo, a video of my girl, Heather? Oh. You want me to take one here? All right, yeah. All right, thank you so much. Thank Beautiful you. Beautiful place. All right, street dogs, <laughs> don't be, don't be uh, just photographers, be artists. Make art, be a painter. Come to uh, Provincetown. P Town, we're waiting for you. <laughs> Alright. Wave wave by to, wave, wave by to the camera. <laughs> wave by to the camera quick. Alright. <laughs> <laughs>